Hey guys, what's up? Hello, welcome back to our channel. Long time no see. I know it's been a long time since we filmed anything, but we're back. Today I'm gonna be doing a empties and declutter video. So yeah, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, check out our anime theme makeup brand, Malay Rose Cosmetics. That's all, and let's jump right into it. So let's start off with the repeats. First off, we have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. I use it in literally every video. This is the only mascara, well, mostly the only mascara I've used in the past two or three years. So yeah, finish this. Actually, I didn't finish it. Um, it's, it's almost empty. It just smells a little funny. So it's empty-ish, but I'm also decluttering it. Next up, we have the CeraVe S Renewing Essay Cleanser. Like this is like my third or fourth bottle. Um, same thing I always say, it washes your face really good. I don't know. Um, it's my favorite face wash so far and I really love it. I'm almost out of my other bottle, so I need to repurchase, but yeah. Next up, we have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It's like this. This one is the jumbo size. This one lasted me almost a year. Oh yeah, this is my favorite moisturizer. I use it every day. I want to try the one that comes in a little like squeezy not squeezy too this is squeezy too the one the one with the pump that's what i'm gonna try next yeah favorite moisturizer if you have really dry skin get this since we're talking about skincare and repeat products i use up another pimple patch i actually have another one so technically i've used up two of these pimple patches you can get these from guest style if you guys want to pick these up you can use entire nice code i'll have it pop up on the screen if these are like three dollars like three twenty seven two ninety seven and you get 24 patches they're really good. They are kind of overhyped, but they do do what they say that they do. So, yeah. Next up, we have these No Strip. These are from Daiso. I picked up two boxes. I don't know where the other box went, but I used up two boxes. I think I went in March or February, and I just ended up using the last one a couple weeks ago. So, they did last me a couple months. These are really good. Um, if I remember correctly from the ingredients, ingredient-wise, they're pretty comparable to the... Biore pore strips, but like a fourth of the price. So I would recommend these and I'm gonna pick up more. Next up, we have the Mizan Photo Plump Collagen Toner. I did a full review on this, so if you wanna check that out to see my thoughts, it will be linked down below. Um, the summer lasted me a very long time. It's so hydrating. At first, when I got it, I felt like it was kind of watery, but the more I used it, the more I fell in love with it i'm excited to pick up a second bottle again if you have really dry skin i think this is a nice addition you can add to your skincare routine next up we have a sample size of the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin um i got this in a walmart beauty box i didn't really find that much of a difference between this one and the blue one that i use um i feel like they both do the same thing this one might be a little more drying but i like it i would definitely get the full size. Next up we have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost with Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Cleansing Gel. That is a very long name. This is the fragrance free version. Again this is something else I got in a Walmart beauty box. This one I really I really liked it. I like that it's fragrance free. I would purchase the full size of this. I feel like it wasn't like spectacular. It didn't wow me but I would definitely repurchase this. It was a really nice not moisturizer. It was a really it was a really nice cleanser. Next up, something else I got from my Walmart box. This is the Mark Anthony Repair Bond and Rescue Plex. It's a repair and protect leave-in treatment. That's what it looks like. Um, it was okay. I didn't like the texture of it. It comes. In, it's a little spray bottle. Um, I don't know if it did much for my hair. My hair did feel soft, but it didn't feel moisturized. Then again, I do have very dry hair, so maybe that that was why. But I wouldn't repurchase. I feel like it didn't really do anything for my hair and. This size is not enough for me to see results either way, so. Next up we have the Camille Rose Curl Up Moisture Milk. It's rice milk and academia oil. This is really hydrating. I really love this. It smells really good. Just a little goes a long way. I found that it would like flake in my hair because I was using a lot of it, but when I use a tiny amount, it works really well. Uh, I feel like you have thin hair, you're not gonna like this because it does get very heavy even if you do use a thin amount, but it is super hydrating and I love incorporating it, incorporating it into my hair routine. More hair products, this is the TJN 
honey whip hydrating mousse it has raw honey and agave nectar so it looks like um i really like this for my natural hair i feel like it was a little dry i didn't really use it for my natural hair until the end i use it for my wigs to style and lay them down for that purpose it definitely helps it if you don't want to straighten it or you have any flyaways this really holds it down and it doesn't make it crunchy like a lot of like mousses or hairspray does um i would definitely repurchase this i feel like it's like 16 dollars, so maybe it's a little expensive but it it did last me a really long time next up another hair product the last hair product actually we have the shea moisture this is the shea oil i like to use this one in the castor oil that's what i've been using i use this on, like on my roots and my ends just to give it a little more moisture and seal in my ends i do like this this is my second bottle i just wish maybe you come like in a squeeze tube instead of like the pump because the pump gets all over the place and it's messy but besides that it's a really good oil next up we have the nyx born to glow foundation i think i've had this foundation since it came out so based on that reason that reason alone it's selling a little funny so i'm getting rid of it um to be fair there's nothing much in there you know, it's like that it's like that much in there um i do like this foundation this is one of the only foundations that i was using because i'm not really a foundation girl anymore i prefer a tinted moisturizer or like a cushion um this is really good it's like 10 11 dollars i do like it and i would repurchase it if i needed a foundation i would probably repurchase this one next up we have the sugar twinkle glitter liner by peri peri this hurts because i love peri peri as a brand this glitter liner is not it's not good um i have used it in videos before i think in the video i did where i was showing products that i don't like this was featured in it um i I don't know, like it's too chunky and the wand applicator isn't the best so you don't get that much product payoff on your eyes um yeah i feel like they improve the form make it a little more liquidy maybe and smaller shimmers and not make it as watery i think it would it would be good next up i'm not going to talk about this palette this is the next ultimate bites palette if you know you know i don't like this palette and i'm finally getting rid of it Moving on. Next product I'm decluttering is the Elf Putty Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Beach Please, what it looks like. At first, I really liked it, but then I know it was hard to blend no matter what I did. I used it with a brush, a sponge. I, I don't know, I just didn't really like it. I don't know if I have the wrong shade or not, but maybe I need to get like the putty brush that goes with it, but I don't really like it. It's not my favorite. I don't think I would repurchase. Next up, we have the What Am All liner. This is actually liner I'm wearing today. It's my favorite liner. I feature this mostly, and every time I'm wearing a brown liner, it's probably this one. It's a dollar. You can get it from Dollar Tree. I think Walmart, Target has it. Amazon. If you are, if you have deeper skin, you need a brown liner. Pick up this one. They have it in Pretty and Mink and. The other brown. I don't remember the the name. They're basically the same color, and I do wear both, so I recommend both. Next up, we have the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. I have mine in the shade Deep Rich. I don't know why I'm selling the shade. NYX Discontinue This. You can find it on Amazon, but they don't have this shade. This is my favorite tinted moisturizer. I'm wearing it today, actually. Um, if they still make this, would I repurchase? 100%. Yeah, so next if you're somehow watching this video please bring this back and give us more shades i think after this shade there's like maybe two shades next up we have the clinique quick liner eyeliner in the shade intense black it's so i even tried to sharpen it to get every last drop this is really nice i loved wearing it as an eyeliner and a lip liner it's retractable so you just twist it up it's very smooth that's why i like i like it I think the full price is like $24 maybe and I will repurchase it. I usually buy my eyeliners at like a dollar or two. But this is, to me is worth every penny. It's so smooth. Yeah. Highly recommend. Another Clinique product. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in the shade number one black. That's a really good mascara. Um, I would repurchase the full size. 
for me $26. Now, do you need to spend $26 on a mascara? No. But if you are and you want to treat yourself, I like this one. Only a couple more products left. This one is the Heavy Rotation Brow Gel in the shade... I don't know. I don't, I don't know what shade, but um, I do like this. I think they make it in a black too, so with my hair being this blondy brown color, it matches really well. Um, if, you want, if you want a lighter brow, I like the shade. I would pick up a couple more shades. If you are in LA or Little Tokyo, they do sell it. In the store. I can't think of the store, but I'll insert a picture of it. If you do live here, you can go pick it up there. I got mine from Guest Style. Um, I've had this way longer than you're supposed to. I'm decluttering because it smells funny. But I do like this. It keeps my brows in place. Um, I do like the, sh the shade. I love how I can play around with it and I recommend. Last but not least, we have two products. This next one is by Misha. This is the Wishstone Jelly Tint in the shade RD01. I don't know if Misha still makes this product. It might be on Guest Style. If I can, wow. As I was saying, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. But this is what it looks like. I featured this in so many videos. I, like, I completely scraped it. If Misha still made this, I will still get it and pick up more shades. Yeah, um, I really love this lip tint. It's, it feels like water, but it's like a stain. It's so pretty. I love, I've worn it so many times. And if Misha still made these, I would definitely buy them all. Last but not least, we have a lip gloss. This is the Cardi's Boba Shop lip gloss from Moonlight Rose Cosmetic, which is Kintai and I's brand. This is in the shade Okinawa Milk Tea. Um, it's chai tea scented. This is what it looks like. You can tell it's another product that I scraped. Um, we are currently sold out of these, but we are bringing these back. with It's a new and improved formula, and we have more shades coming out, so don't forget to look out for those. But yeah, that includes my empties and declutter. If you guys want to see more videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel check out our, our makeup brand moonlight rose cosmetics if there's any videos you guys want to see from us let us know yeah and bye guys